All right, guys, now that we've finished steps one through six, it's time to get going to beta flight. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing is this, the way these are done, you should be able to fit your um, USB cable in here, your micro USB without any problem. Just be careful, don't rip it and go crazy and rip the pad right off, okay? Um, so once that's on there, okay. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, we're gonna go into beta flight and we're gonna use the new beta flight. And the problem with 10 point, uh, what is it, 10.8 Rev 2? And I don't know if Rev 3, I haven't downloaded Rev 3. Matter of fact, I should probably download Rev 3. Let's just go do that real quickly. So I know I, this wasn't part of it, but uh, let me just do that because maybe they fixed it in Rev 3, I don't know. But there's an issue with Omnibus F4 and the fact that it will not, um, let me go to FPV Professor. Sorry, so you bear with me. If you if you already have it, then you can skip this part and fast forward. Um, but under my drone kits here and under, uh, come on, our internet's moving a little slow. We've had a lot of storms out here. So under drone kits and videos, we have downloads. I'm gonna close this version right now. And under downloads, I have right here, beta flight release for, on GitHub. And then I think Rev, yeah, Candidate 3 is out. So let me just go ahead, oops, let me go ahead and click that. And let's see, we are gonna go down to here to the executable. All right, and once that's there, we're gonna run it. More info, run anyway. Yes. Now I like to keep previous versions. So what I may do here, uh, well, it's not gonna let me, I guess, so that's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and click accept, next. And this is where I would normally put it. Um, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna change the directory name to 10R3. Next. Program shortcuts and the following star. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, and then just, I just I like to keep the directory separate. Okay, that's my thing because I'll go here and this is the old one. So this is running 10.2, and and so there are times where I want to go back to that because that's what a customer has, and I want to go to show him how to work it. So, um, but let's just do this real quick. I mean 10.7. Sorry, not 10.2. My brain's fried. Now, one of the things that was happening was when you'd go to add beta flight or go to do a flash update, it would hang on these boards. Um, it's kind of irritating. So I'm hoping maybe that around the um, part three, it, it works well. Uh, all right, so now we're done. Let's start beta flight, boom. Let's hope this does a little bit better job, okay? <clears throat> And if you've had all this, uh, if you don't need this, then that's fine. <coughs> all right, <coughs> we're gonna connect, okay? And we're gonna go down to the CLI, and we're gonna type version, hit enter. Omnibus F4, 3.2.3, that's fine. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna click update firmware. And then I guess we're gonna wait. Okay, Omnibus F4. This is what we want on best F4. This is the most recent version. Okay, full chip. Okay, so we're gonna load firmware online and we're gonna flash the firmware. And it still hangs. See how it sits right there hanging? This is this is one of the problems I had. So it's put the controller in DFU. So now I cannot remember. I'm gonna close this real quick and I'm gonna see if I can open it back up. I don't know if this is the, oh, that's not it. Yes, delete that shortcut. Where did I put my shortcut, man? Is this one? That's it. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go back to update firmware and I'm going to see if it'll run it now. So hold on a second. Or hold on for 20 seconds. This is kind of okay. Flash firmware. There it goes. So you basically have to tell it to flash. It's going to hang. And this is only the first time you do it though. After that, once it once it flashes, it'll do it every time with no problem. But the first time you do it, you're gonna click flash, you're gonna do it, and it's gonna hang at that STM32 bootloader screen. Close your beta flight down, open it back up, make sure to leave your quad still plugged in, all right? No power, just the USB, and do it again, and this time it'll actually 
erase it and load it. So there you go. That's a little thing. So that's the same as in dot two is in dot or, 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 or release two in release three have the same little issue there. Uh, I'll reach out to the devs and see if there's if maybe it's something that we need to change on our end or what, but it only seems to happen with the Omnibus F4 firmware. So we'll see. All right. Anyways, so it's done verifying. Now it says successful. So let's go ahead and click connect. Apply custom defaults. Okay. And let's go ahead and click connect again. Now, no motor output. That's fine. Accelerometer is enabled. Mount Calvary. That's fine. Okay. So let's fix the first one. Uh, with your quad down and I've, it's facing me obviously but let's just go ahead and we want to click calibrate let's bring everything to level excellent now on ports okay uh, let me think here so on ports you're going to go to UART 3 and you're going to turn this one on now let me think of I believe that S bus is on UART 1 so let's just try that I'm pretty sure Okay, and we're gonna say save and reboot. I'm gonna go back to connect. Now it's just saying the motor output protocol, that's fine. Now look, I understand that we can run D shot and blah, 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 but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put it at one shot because I want to always teach the calibration of the ESCs and making sure the ESCs are fine. If you don't like that, jump the way you want, skip this part, that's what we're gonna do next, okay? So when we go to configuration, sorry guys, that's somebody calling up ahead. Uh, we go to configuration here let's look here first thing we want to do is let's go back to our setup and make sure now the drone is facing me and actually let me just share the screen with you like this hello here you don't need to see me okay here's the drone right ideally in the picture the drone should be facing the other way so when i tilt this up right it should be the opposite here and it is so just make sure the or if you do turn the drone away from you then you do it and it's like you reset your z-axis okay and now when you go back, it's back, front, front, left, and right. That means that you are set properly, okay? So we're good there. So there's nothing to change under our configuration menu. There's nothing to change for board sensor alignment. We will turn off magnetometer and barometer. Uh, and we could call this here tank 95. So let's just do that. Tank 95 dash 95 dash HD. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, this is going to change the minute I go to one shot, but that's fine. Uh, minimum R angle is fine. I'm not going to mess with very much of this right now. I will turn air mode off. Uh, I will turn telemetry on for right now, and I'll turn air mode on when I feel like it under modes. So I'm going to click save and reboot. Still going to get the error message about the protocol for the motors. Okay, which is fine because that's where we're headed next. So let's go to motors. And we're going to go here, and we're going to tell it we want one shot. One two five, okay, and just don't argue with me about it. Just please do it, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay. All right. Now, as far as the prop spinning the other way is reverse direction, uh, that is a choice. I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm just going to click save and reboot. Okay. Let's click connect. Now our error is gone. Everything here looks good. Ports are good. Configuration. Now you can see where we drop down to the PID loop here is slow or lower I mean and uh, that's pretty much it so now let's go to our let's disconnect here okay and we're gonna load we're gonna plug the quad in and we're gonna open BL heli so let's power this up and let's go ahead and open BL heli and I'm just gonna open the web real quick because I want to make sure something here if you don't have BL heli you can get the links here to download BL heli and you're gonna use the BL heli s so if you were to do that and you would click on uh let's see this one here I'm just just taking a brief jump here so you guys can see how what you would do uh you would download sorry internet's so slow today you would download um this one right here okay unless you're running a 32-bit and then you would download this one we're running windows and a 16-bit so you're gonna download this one all right now let's go back to bl heli Okay, here it is right here. Make sure the port is right, so drop that down. Okay, and then just click read setup. Okay, there's our stuff. We need to do a, a firmware update, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna tell it to flash VL Heli. It's gonna find 16.7, click okay. Click yes, and let it flash all over, okay. Go 
okay and go to the next one okay yes Okay. Okay again, go to the next one. Okay. And then click okay again and do the last one. That's gonna be motor number four. <clears throat> and at this point, we're not gonna do anything else. Uh, until we calibrate the motors here and calibrate the AC, I mean. So here's what we're gonna do here. So it's gonna say, okay. Now, you see how it says programming by TX and that's check. Leave that alone. Make sure everything looks good here. You can click write setup one more time. It's gonna have nothing to write at this point, I don't believe. There you go. Then you can click disconnect. You'll hear the chime. Now turn the power off. Okay, make sure you have no power to your quad at all. Now go back to beta flight. Click connect, go down, uh, always do these things just to make sure we're right. Go down to our motors tab and we're gonna arm it and we're gonna crank it all the way up. And then we're gonna turn the power, plug your lipo back in and listen to the tones. Once the tones are done, drop it all the way down, have another set of tones. Okay. Turn the motors, uh, uncheck that right there, and then click disconnect. Go back to BL Heli, read setup again. And now look here. You see how it says setup not in sync with master, setup not in sync with master, but this one's fine. It means that two of the motors are not synchronized properly, right? Two of the ACs and motors are not synchronized properly. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna start with motor one, which is considered the master motor. You're gonna right click on it and you're gonna look here. PPM, minimum throttle, PPM, maximum throttle, okay? Minimum throttle is 1012, maximum throttle is 204. Now right click on motor two. Motor two, the minimum throttle is 1012, but the max is only 2000. Motor three, the max is only 1996. Motor four is identical to motor one. So what we have to do is we have to make all the motors maximum be as fast as the slowest motor. So, and I'm using the terms kind of incorrectly there because it's not necessarily the motor, but the ESC motor combination, the signal there that it's reading. So you have 2004, 2000, 1996, and 2004, which means that the, the, the fastest all these motors can go equally is 1996. So you must left click on all of these, set this to 1996 and click right setup. Okay, now, now, every motor has been adjusted to match the slowest motor as far as the maximum throttle. Now the minimum throttle, they were all the same, right? 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. So you don't have to do that. If there were something wrong, you would go to the highest minimum throttle for all of them. So let's say one was at 10, 16. Then all three would have to be 10, 16 because basically what it means is, and let me, let me explain this to you like this. It means that all the motors can reach 10, 16, but only a few could go slower to 10, 12. Well, you want to keep them synchronized and all doing the equal in equal amounts, right? So, if the maximum, if the if the slowest value, if the highest lowest value, let's say, is on motor three, and motor three says I can only go as slow as ten sixteen, and forget the terminology, just follow along. I can only go as ten sixteen, and the other one's like, well, I can go to ten twelve. Well, it doesn't help then because you'll have three that dip really low and one. So you have to make them all even, and they can all do ten sixteen. So you set them all to ten sixteen, and on the maximum side, you look at it like this. If the maximum motor three, for example, go is 1996, and all the rest can go to 2004, well, what would be the point of setting three motors super fast and one lagging? So we know the maximum all can go is 1996, because they're gonna go as fast as the slowest one there, right? So you set them all. So remember, the minimum will be the, the highest minimum rate, and the maximum will be the lowest maximum rate, because that's the rates each, all the motors can achieve. All right, hopefully that makes sense, and if not, you let me know and we'll go over it again later. But anyway, so there you go, right? So now we're set. So we're gonna left click on all of these. We do not wanna program by TX anymore, okay? We don't wanna do that. So once they're all highlighted, remove that check mark, click right, set up again, and you're done. Now we're gonna disconnect. We're gonna go back to beta flight. We're gonna go to our motors tab. Motors tab. 
and we're just going to see how the smoothies spin, okay? So they're all spinning. Now let's make sure they go in the right direction. If this is motor one. The way I have it, motor one should be going this way, and it is. Motor two is going the wrong way. Motor three is go motor two is going clockwise also. Motor three is going clockwise. Okay, so all the motors are going clockwise, right? So what we have to do now is we have to change that. So let's stop this real quick. Okay, let's disconnect. Let's go back to BL Heli. Now I have, let's, I know the camera's facing me, but we have motor one and motor four. They're going clockwise and that's right, at least for my configuration. Motor two and motor three are also going clockwise. Those need to go counterclockwise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and click read setup. Okay, click okay. We're gonna right click on motor two and we're gonna go up here and click reverse and then click right setup. Okay, then we're gonna go to motor three, right click on it, click on reverse and click right setup. Okay, now we're gonna disconnect. We just solved that problem. Now we've got our motor spinning the proper direction. So if we go back here, we connect, go to motors, and I arm it and I turn it on here. Okay, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Perfect. It's done. That's it. Okay, so now this is pretty much configured for the time being, except for OSD. Now, for OSD, I'll usually put my goggles on when I do this, but let me show you what I do. I take the battery voltage. And I put that one up here. Okay. I take my craft name and I put that one down here. And I take the warnings and put that down here as well. And when you're looking through your goggles, you'll see. And then I'll take my, oh, where is it? Um, mode, fly mode. And I'll put that up here as well. And there you go. And I'll click save. And that is it. Okay, so now there's tuning and a whole bunch of other things that we're gonna do and I'll send you, I'll do all the tuning stuff later on. You'll have a configuration file to download for that as we work on the tuning and fine tune a little bit more. But for right now, you're set. Everything here is working great and you are ready now to bind your goggles and your radio to this one if you're flying DJI goggles and the DJI radio, which you are if you're flying HD, at least the goggles. So I'll be right back with that video.